Hi people and welcome to a limitless training or this could be a bonus that you might be looking at this but this could be full of value and benefits which is really going to help you okay um, what we're going to do is we're going to tap into a little method of how we can promote using YouTube um, using a certain technique which you may not have know about which has got good conversions it will help to build up your email list um, and there's going to be a couple of things you know which um, I'm hoping that you will actually think well yeah this is really cool this is going to work I'm going to show you from A to Z how we're going to do this basically from the beginning to the end it's going to be quite an in-depth video because I want this to be in-depth because I want it to be full of value I also want it to be explained in a way that you'll be able to use it yourself okay so what we're going to do is we're going to shrink the screen down and we're going to jump straight into this okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to my youtube now you can use any youtube channel yourself if by any means that you want to create your own youtube then you want to make sure obviously um you can buy matured sort of youtube channels okay um you can actually set up a YouTube channel is very, very easy. Uh, you just need a Gmail account and you can set it up. Uh, and I think you can have up to four or five uh, on the same IP, which is your internet proxy, okay? Um, so, you know, uh, anything over that and you'll probably need to run it through uh, a, you know, something which is going to uh, change your IP so it looks like you're in a different country. But be aware you know if you do that you want to stick it to whatever one you decide to keep it to okay so you know you can use proxies etc uh, that's another way of doing it where you can put certain proxies in so it doesn't show, show the same coordination of where you are now, this is going to be a little bit advanced um, and you know it's going to be as I said to you before it's going to be full of value lots of um, information here which is going to help you okay um, now I will be using obviously my YouTube going to be using my builder role uh, I may be using my Aweber and um, you know and we'll get straight to it okay so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to click on here okay which says create and we're going to go to go live and what we're going to do is we're going to create a live event okay um, now how this works this works really well is that there's nothing stopping me now if I wanted to I could stream my YouTube straight away okay um, and then I can actually do this live now you'll see that this is one which I already put out okay um, this was scheduled for September the 8th 2023 uh, I made this about a few days ago now how you do this is you just put loads of these out and you do it by using long tail keywords now there's great ways of getting long tail keywords okay which you might not be aware of but if you go to I've got another tab here where I've opened up YouTube and if we put in here um, let's say uh, every thing to do with um, websites if I can spell it what it will do is it will give you a report a prediction of so I've got that spelled wrong that's probably the reason why it's not coming up with anything so everything to do with websites so let's try something else and you see look you can see all the, the keys that are coming down here so there's everything you ever dreamed disappearing when you wake up everything the light touches in the kingdom everything has breath praise lord so what you do is you look through here and see if anything's coherent with what you're using already okay so you know you're, we're in affiliate marketing right so let's type in affiliate marketing you'll find that the top one that will come up will be affiliate marketing for newbies or beginners so you can see here look affiliate marketing for beginners and then what you could do is you could use that and then you could put how to build a landing page right how to build a landing page okay so I'm gonna go with this all right so it's affiliate marketing for beginners how to build a landing page right so we're gonna copy this that's the first thing you're gonna do all right now the reason why we're copying this this is our long tail keyword okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop this into let's just use this I'm just gonna pop it in here so my long tail keyword now this is just so it's easy for me to find it 
and I'm going to paste that in there like that. All right. And I'm going to save that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm also just going to do a search on Google and see what comes up on that. So if we go into Google. Or open up. because I'm filming so it's to slow down a little bit okay so that's not working at the moment but the idea of that is to want to check to see if there was any long tail keywords that we could use which comes up immediately when we type that in on our Google okay now you can do it for another um, way of doing it is if we go into new incognito window and now type in google.com at all okay now type that long tailed keyword in and paste and you'll see that there's loads and loads of things that are coming up here okay so if, what we want is we want our long tail keyword to come up eventually that's what's going to happen we're going to have our long tail keyword here right but there's a few things that we need to do before we can do that right uh, and that's why i'm going to show you right now so we're going to close this down uh, we're going to go over to Canva. We're going to click on Canva. And we are going to create a YouTube thumbnail. Now, the idea with this is that when we put in um, our long tail keyword, we are going to have our long tail keyword on our keyword as well. All right. So it's going to be on our thumbnail. It's also going to be with inside the description of our live presentation as well on YouTube. Right. And I'm going to show you exactly how we do this. All right. Now, there's loads of ways you can do this. Okay. I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take this out. Um, and then I'm going to take this out. And this out. And then I'm going to put my long tail keyword in here. Right. And I'm just going to blow this up. Okay, so affiliate marketing for beginners, how to build a landing page, right? And then I'm going to put a page, I'm going to put a picture in here, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to uploads, I'm going to grab my picture, and I'm just going to put my page. Now I could even put it in the corner. Or I could just bring it down like that. Now the only reason why I do this is because it's branding yourself right so when people see affiliate marketing for beginners how to build a landing page they know who they're talking to if you had a cat or dog or a cartoon they ain't gonna have a clue who you are um, and it seems to work better if you do it like this okay uh, because it just gives a you know someone in mind that's thinking okay then who's going to show me how to make affiliate marketing for beginners how to build a landing page and you can see then that there's a person which is me right so that's how this works. So I'm just going to bring this in like that. Now that's all we need for that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save this. I'm going to go to share, download, and we're going to save it in ping format. And then I'm going to save it in JPEG format as well. And Canva is completely free, by the way, people. So, you, you know, you can use this as many times as you like. There's no restrictions. Uh, you, you can pay for the premium version, which obviously opens up a lot more things. But this is just what I use anyway. I've never paid for Canva. Uh, I've always used it like that anyway. So now we've got this page here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the here. You see that this is the one we've created already. All right. So we're going to go back to here. And we're going to click on live. I'm going to go live.
that's going to open up this page and now we're going to start inputting what we're going to do okay so what you basically do is you're setting up a stream um, and then the trick is not to run it straight away the trick is to actually program it to run three to six months time okay so then what will happen is the the actual algorithm the youtube and, and google algorithm will see that you're presenting something and it will already put it out there to traffic on google and youtube and i'll show you exactly what i mean by that right so um as i said to you before we've searched you saw me search uh, excuse me <coughs> and it never come up with my keyword right my long tail keyword um but i'm going to show you how we do this so what we do now <clears throat> is we we'll schedule a stream and we're going to use streaming software and then we're going to paste in exactly the same keyword which is this one here okay and then we're going to paste in again the exact keyword again all right the affiliate marketing for beginners how to build a landing page and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a call to action which is our link right now I'm going to be using this one because I'm promoting my build role, okay, and my business, my master, my website um, master class, okay, and in here it shows you how to generate websites, lead pages, and uh, creation, product creation, email growth, etc. So it pretty much covers everything that's inside um, that keyword, okay, and that's why I can pr promote this quite quite well. So I'm not going to use this because it's a bit long tail. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my pretty links. And I'm going to grab my Darren's opt-in memberships, okay, which is this one here. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to paste this link in here like so, okay. And that's it. That's all I need to do, right? Um, then I'm going to add my thumbnail just got to wait for this load up I'm going to use JPEG because it's just it's just the, the I mean it's 620 kilobyte and this one here is only 111 kilobyte and then I'm going to open this up and then it says here add your stream to one or one or more of your playlists so what we're going to do is we're going to click on select new playlist and then our title again is going to be the long tail keyword okay which i've just oh this wrong one it's, which is going to be affiliate marketing for beginners how to build a landing page okay which is only 61 so it's not too bad anywhere from 50 to 70 works quite well okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to see the best free traffic source we can use that so we can click that on there and then we're going to hit create okay so we're going to hit create and it's we want the visibility to be on public there's no you, um, we can do unlisted all right but if you unlist it it just means then it's not going to be open to the public and you're not going to be getting information from it from from the public if you like so obviously you know public is definitely the one you want to do now you can hit create and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we click on the playlist which is this one the affiliate marketing how to build a landing page okay which is this one here and then we're going to hit done okay so that's the first part of what we've done here okay so we're just going to go through here um it's not for kids okay um we can use tags and there's loads of other things that we can do etc but i'm not going to worry too much about this this seems to work quite well just by opening this up so it's there and then what we're going to do now is we're going to hit next and then what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the customization, right? So it says it's setting to tailor your stream to your needs. So we're going to allow live chat, participant moods, who can send messages. I'm going to put anyone. Message delay, I'm not going to worry about. 
Now you could redirect, so you could do it allow when when you finish this or when the premiere's finished. You could have a redirect link, so you could have it linking. But we're not actually going to be running a stream, okay? What we're doing is we're actually catching it, okay? So what we need to do is now click next. And then we want to make sure it goes out to the public. Now this is important, okay? Now what you need to do is you need to make sure that you set between three to six months, okay? So what I'm going to do with this is it's now October the 11th of 2023. So I'm going to click on here and I'm going to move to June the 23rd on the 22nd, okay, 2023. Now, don't worry too much about the time. It's not like when you're sending out an email, it has to go out by 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and then 12 o'clock midnight, right? You don't have to worry too much about that side of it because um, it's going to... This is already going to be live anyway. So once we've done this, it says select the date and time that you want to go live. So I've put June 22nd, 2023 at 9.55 p.m. Okay, and then we're going to hit done. Now what it's going to do, it's going to start procreating. It's going to be propagating in the background. And you'll see now that this is connect streaming software to start preview. So what you would basically do now is if you were running a host, you would put your stream key in your stream URL, your backup URL, okay, and then you'd pop that all in. And then when you click on your software and start videoing it through your your actual video and your mic, it will come up on this screen right here. But we're not doing that. What we're doing is we're actually leaving this running now, just like this. And the secret is that where um, this is now running, what, what this has done, this has now been sent to Google so the Google algorithm is already picking up on this it's already picking up on our long tail keyword which is this one here it's already going to pick up on this and I'm going to show you um, how how this will is going to pick this up okay uh, quite simply so we just got to leave this really roughly for around about 15 to 20 minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video so I don't waste your time and we'll come back to it. Okay, so I've left it for about 15 minutes. So if we try and see if this letter, if, if sorry, this long keyword now has um, had time to, to be added using the algorithm for Google and we'll find out whether or not this is actually streaming. Well, it's not streaming, it won't stream. But what it will do is it will try and capture people to want to actually watch the stream okay now there's no reason why you can't still run this um and then have the stream you just put it in the diary and then you could run a proper stream right after that right or you could cancel it you know so there's loads of things you can do but this is just a very very quick way and a free way of another traffic method introducing it into the algorithm with google where you can actually start to generate people that are interested in what you've got to offer right okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the incognito window again <clears throat> and then we're going to go to google again click in search google and enter we go accept all and then what we do is going to paste in the long tail keyword and then we're going to hit enter and we're going to see if it comes up okay it might not be there yet sometimes it can take anywhere from 25 minutes to half hour but you can see that we're already starting to get things that are coming up here already okay and you'll see that someone's already created this particular one here which was on December 2021 I'm just going to refresh the page So 
So it just needs that little bit longer. It normally takes 20 to 25 minutes anyway for this to actually start to work. Let's just see if there's any more coming up. <clears throat> What you can sometimes do is if you actually click on one with the same keyword or the um, long tail, what it sometimes does is it will put it down below. So it's almost like oh, another suggestion. Let's just do another search. So it just needs a little bit longer. Just make sure it's definitely working. What I sometimes do is, is um, So link in the description if you want to know what this is. Now what this does is this just gonna um this is just gonna by doing that it's going to show a bit of authority, okay? Oh, I'm just gonna paint that like that. Okay, so I'll put this and what that might do is that actually might speed it up a bit. So if I go back in again to Recognito, if we refresh that, and sooner or later we should see my link. Let's just see if it's on another page. Go to page one. That's why in some ways it's really good to uh, to do a certain way that you do it because then you'll be able to spot it easier. You'll be able to find it easier. It's just taking a while to propagate, but, but what we can do is, so you know it works, Paste Google search. And also this particular keyword could be a hard keyword to actually get into because someone could be paying lots and lots of money for this particular keyword um to be seo'd okay so they could be trying to optimize it so they're constantly getting um information from that all the time right uh, and that could be one of the reasons why this my one hasn't come up yet because it's actually a hard keyword to rank so the long tail keyword that i've chosen is is quite hard to rank that's why when you do a long tail keyword you want to um either do like a sentence all right so you could you could you know do a little bit longer to do, do 10 to 12 words you know um so you could put affiliate marketing for beginners how to build a landing page you know within 10 minutes or something like that so you could add that little caption on the end and then that's not going to uh, be a very hard um word to rank because there's not many other people that are probably said within 10 minutes okay 
Um, but we're just going to check it again, see if it comes up. And literally, it's just a case of waiting for it to come up anyway. It will it will pop up eventually. And when it does, normally you can get within the top 10 with inside Google. Um, so if we go back into the Cognito window, I'm going to refresh. See, what I could also do is if I copy, I'll tell you what else we'll do. We go back into here. We go back. And you'll see that this is up and coming. So this is actually streaming. Okay. And this one here is streaming as well. And obviously we won't have any connection or anything yet because I haven't got anything set up anyway. That's not how you do this. You put your link in and then you rely on people to click on the link. And if you've got like a, a call to action, uh, which goes to an opt-in page and my opt-in page, which I use, which is this one here. Okay. And then basically they put their email, their name in here. And then when they click on this to get instant access, I then give them something free. Okay. Uh, which makes them do the double opt-in and then they get their, their free uh, wherever I'm offering with inside my actual landing page. Okay, so it's a bit like a bridge page if you like. But, you know, if you are going to offer someone something free, you must make sure that you oblige to that. Okay, uh, otherwise <clears throat> it's going to cause problems. So I wouldn't suggest you do too many of these all the time, otherwise you might find it either you might get a bit caught out but you can see how i've done it anyway so affiliate marketing for beginners uh how to build a landing page now this works really really well okay i'll show you something that this will work really well for um for instance if we go back to here uh, let's go here let's go back into my channel and my latest actual um review which I just done which was for Julie Templeton and Dawood Islam hi guys and welcome with for this okay mail your list now it wasn't actually mail your list okay this is what I was while I was playing around with this um, because uh, the keywords I've actually mixed and matched around I haven't actually used the real keywords which I, I have got the keywords in here I'll show you what I mean if we click on here on send your mails 2.0 you'll notice that is send your mails 2.0 although the keyword that i'm using is mail your list 2.0 now i've done this deliberately this was almost like a little test and uh, i ran this actually without using um, my youtube tags and i got seven to ten clicks already i had ten people viewing it already without even adding the tags then what i decided to do is i put the tags in okay um, and the tags I used, if we go into it, edit, I'll show you. The tags I used, what I've done is send your mouse 2.0. So I've already got that one in there, right? And I'm at 29, okay? And then what I've done is I worked off some of these just to mix and match it a little bit because it's very similar to what I'm selling, all right? Now, I, I seem to, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create an evergreen um, review. So even when the review stops, this is going to still um, search and we're still going to have a better chance of having people come to this, okay? So I could put, for instance... Um, mailing email for newbies and you'll see that this one's come up here how to add a mail in mail so i'm going to use that one anyway 
and that's dead on 500, right? And that's mailing email for newbies. Now, I've spelled newbies wrong, so I'm going to redo that. So I'm going to come back out here. I'm going to put mailing email for newbies. Right. Mailing email for newbies, okay? So, and I've got that 498, so, you know, that's pretty good, okay? Now, there's a good chance that that keyword may may actually bring in more people. Now, what you can do again, okay, um, and I've just shown you how to do this, is that if we go into here, okay, we're going to click on Schedule Stream, Stream Software, and then if we go back, so if, you, if you're into doing reviews, um, or you're into promoting other people's products, this will work really, really well. So what you want to do is you want to click on here. Copy that. Now the chances of people typing this link in is quite remote, okay? But this will still help the ranking um, and the algorithm will help um, it, it be more promoted to people by doing this. Okay, so if we go here and now we type it in here, Troll V, and then we go paste that in there like so, and then upload thumbnail. So the same thing is we want to go in here. Copy this and paste that in there like that. So mail your list to review exclusive bonus is explained. Okay. Just gonna copy that in there. And then I'll go to save this download. Download in ping, and then I'm gonna download in JPEG. <coughs> JPEG, download, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly what we've just done before, okay? And it doesn't take that long to do. It's very, very quick, extremely quick, in fact. So we're going to use this one, and then we're going to select playlist. We're going to create a playlist. We're going to title it with the exactly the same that we've just done, and we're going to hit and make sure its visibility is public. We're going to create. We're going to make sure that we've choosed, chosen the actual playlist. And then we're going to hit done. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to add some promotions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to key it in with the review, all right? So the add tag, I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to grab my, grab that like so. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste that in here like so, okay? So I've added in my tags. And then what I'm going to do is um, add where your stream was recorded. Viewers can search for streams by location. So we could put the UK. That's not going to hurt, okay? It's created comments, so that means other people can use it if they want to. We can sort by top, show how many viewers like the stream. Okay, so we've done that, and they're going to hit next. Um, we're going to make sure it's live chat. Anyone can see it. We'll scroll through and make sure there's nothing else on there. Not going to worry about the trailer. I could, if I wanted to, I could have redirected it to my YouTube page. Okay. So it's search videos. So what I can do is I'll go back here, copy this link, paste this link in here, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what you do. Let's click on here. Okay, so we got this. Run it. Now copy the watch. Okay. Now go back in here. Now paste it. Let's choose specific videos. So the reason why it may be. Let's check this. 
Hi guys and welcome to my review. Today I'm doing a review on Send Your Mails 2.0. Okay, now this is really cool. It shows you basically just a tiny thing where it I'm gives not gonna you worry access too much about to that. five rotators, but also stop that. Go back in here. So what I could do if I wanted to, I could key it into another up and coming, okay? But the problem is with that is their algorithm may pick up that I'm just trying to do it to just so it could do more damage than good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you that bit anyway. So we're going to click next. And what I should do now is um, it's going to allow me to schedule. So we're going to set it for public and we're going to set this um, for November next year. Ten twenty p.m. and hit done and then hit done and what it's going to do is that's going to do exactly what we just done with the other one and you'll see that this is working and now stream setup is just rolling okay so of course streams not going to work but if I wanted to I could set this up okay for a, a webinar using my builder role to this would actually then just log and start working on October the 11th, 2022, right? If I wanted to. So actually this is due to go live now. So that's interesting. So I need to edit that. Let's go back. I'll tell you why, it's because I didn't click on, let's do August 23rd on the 25th. It's because I didn't click on it. Okay, now it's save. There we go, August 25th, 2023. So what this is going to do now is this is just going to keep streaming forever, right? Uh, but at the same time, it's going to be bringing in um, some content, right? So if I go back to edit again, Customization, detail, I just need to put my link. I haven't got my link in here, right? So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the link you use is this one here, which is your, if you bonus create or if you've created the landing page, you can do it like this, okay? So copy. And what I'm going to do is that's just going to allow me to use that link there, okay? And this is going to open up Send Your Mouse too. So when they click on this link, it's going to open up this page. And this is going to take them to a call to action. And then they will be able to pick up Send Your Mails too, right? Now remember, I've been playing around with this. And then not only have we've got the vendors bonuses, we've got my bonuses, my juicy bonuses are in here as well, okay? So it works really, really well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come out of that. We're going to go back into here. Um, beg your pardon. Which one is it? It's this one. And we're going to paste the link in here like so. And now we're going to hit save. Now, if anyone goes to look at the stream, um, if they're interested, they may click on the bonus crate to open it up and realize, whoa, I can get into this earlier before anyone else, right? And they may purchase. And that's basically how it's done. And you'll see now I've got three that are streaming, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just have a quick look and see if this affiliate one here, which I just set up, is working. So I'm gonna just open this up. I'm gonna copy this. And then we're going to go back into here. I'm going to paste it in here and enter and see if it's come up now. No, I think it's because that's a hard one for it to, to register for. But if we go back here, Go back and now if we copy this one and we copy this long tail keyword here and then we 
you go to Ecognito window and we type it in there and enter well, it's not coming up yet but it will <clears throat> and of course if we do it on YouTube we know it's going to be on YouTube because it's just registered itself right so if we go into YouTube uh, you don't want to search my channel we actually want to search onto the youtube channel itself so if we click on here and paste enter and now scroll through and with a little jiggery and pokery i could probably get this a lot higher later on um by using my custom stuff that i've got which will boost it higher. In fact, it's because it's, let's do this one. Let's go into YouTube. and now paste that link in and uh, my link will be there reason as I said to you before you see if I just run this in my special machine I can get this way up to the top 10 no problem at all it's just simply where um, for demonstration purposes I've just been showing you it so you know what it's doing etc so let's just do another one let's go back here let's go back in here So if we click on this one, this will definitely come up. This one here. Because that keyword is going to be very hard to for other people to copy the same. So the chances are it's going to be There we go. So you can see straight away, there's my first one which has come up. And this is my second one which has come up down here as well. Okay, so you can see instantly how that is going to affect. Because people will look at this and think, hang on a minute, this is Darren. Or this is Darren too, right? And then they're going to click on this and they're going to be taken to the same call to action as in there anyway. Right? So that's how that works. Now let's just, just, walk. Let's just check that other link. So we've literally just popped it on there now so if we go back in here go back um, and we're going to use the one which we just created which was affiliate marketing for beginners so we're going to go back in here we're going to paste this in here like so and then hit enter Now remember, if the keyword's slightly wrong, it will stop it from coming up. But you can see this is a real hard, very hard ranking, this, to actually get. So that's the reason why this is very, very hard to actually get this to. Oh, here we go. It's come up here now. So it's actually moving up. It's starting to move up as we speak, right? But you can see this is exactly how it works, okay? So affiliate marketing for beginners, how to build a landing page. This is a good picture because it's, it stands out there. People are going to look at this and think, whoa, what's this all about? And then they're going to click on this. It's going to open up. There isn't going to be a video running, but down here, it's going to have this link here, right? And when they click on this link, it's going to open this page. 
and then you may get them onto your email list okay so that's it that's uh why i wanted to show you that so that's just um a way of how we can do this and what you want to do is this is what i would do if you've got any reviews if there's any products if any niche remember this works on any niche okay so anything that you know works on keto it'll work on lots and lots of things weight loss uh, pets all sorts okay there's no reason why you cannot use this technique okay and then just make sure you put your call to action in and what will happen eventually is you will start to see your email grow just by doing this okay this is completely free this doesn't cost you any money to do this it takes literally two minutes to set up so it's very very fast okay you can click on notify me um, and what that will do is they'll be notified when it goes live you know so it's, it's a really cool quick way of doing this and you'll see that just by doing that i've been setting these up right so this one's june 20 22nd 2023 august 25th 2023 september the 8th 2023 right and these are all public okay so everyone can see these videos and that's all you do and then you can build this and you can put lots and lots of these on i don't think there's a limit of how many of these you can add so you can add as many of these as you like because they're almost like you're scheduling you're not actually putting them all out they're not already going to be watched so you know the chances are that none of these are going to be watched anyway but because what you're doing is you're just using that as a source to capture uh, their email completely free all right so that's it all the best cheers